David Jones is closing almost 50 stores. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, I'm Florian Heiser and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. I have my afternoon stein of coffee. I was just relaxing after a few distance remote meetings at work when viewers started sending me this article and several others regarding David Jones closing down almost 50 of their stores. Now, these are big tenancies. They are anchor tenants. They attract people to centers. This is a big move. The fact that they're nearly half, well, half a billion dollars in debt isn't very good. This really is the continuation of the retail recession we've been discussing since the beginning of the year. It feels like every single time, every video, another retailer down, another retailer down, bankruptcy, insolvency, voluntary administration. So let's have a look, guys. David Jones is set to close stores as it drowns in half a billion dollars, 500 million in debt amid a 35% sales slump after the pandemic shopping shutdown. Now, anyone who thinks we're going to have an instantaneous V-shaped recovery, what do you say to this? Troubled retailer David Jones is rushing the closure of some stores as it drowns in debts of half $500 million, worsened by a plunge in sales due to the pandemic. Sales at the Australian department store dropped by 35% over March and April after the significant impact of the pandemic restrictions. Woolworths Holdings announced on Wednesday. The South African-based parent company said the downturn had accelerated plans to make huge changes to the business and revitalize the struggling brand. Do you think there's any hope of them revitalizing this brand? Do people have loyalty to David Jones? I remember we were looking at this in the past. There was some odd proposals, like a petrol station combo David Jones I guess it is the latest Australian shopping stalwart to struggle during the pandemic, which forced thousands of stores to shut their doors in March. The pandemic has had a significant impact on foot traffic and store sales, the update read. While online sales have grown, the company said foot traffic had not picked up when pandemic restrictions began to ease and people returned to shops. Well, that could be why. That could be, well, it could be because of this little factor here. Consumer sentiment. It's in the gutter. People are worried. People are concerned. We've looked at other videos and we've discussed the fact that sentiment has changed. Sentiment has changed. People are not taking out as much many credit cards. People are buying cheaper goods. Why would you go to David Jones when you can either order the products online or you go to Kmart? Or you just do without. Or you go to the op shops in the posh suburbs, guys, and get the David Jones products after people have stopped using them. The company has now appointed investment bank UBS to review the capital structure and property portfolio of the 48 stores, Sydney Morning Herald reported. Restructured discussions are now taking place with landlords, with cuts expected to take place in David Jones stores across the country. We expect the challenging and fluid operating environment brought about by the pandemic to continue for the foreseeable future, the company said in the update. In these unprecedented times, the board and management team will continue to act swiftly and decisively to protect the group's financial position. It also owns the Country Road Group, which includes Country Road, Witchery, Tenery, Mimco and Politic. UBS is planning to use the restructure to pay off nearly 500 million in debt owned by the Australian companies. The company firmed it had a buyer lined up for the Burke Street menswear building in Melbourne with the sales ex sale expected to be completed in, by July. It is also looking at selling the David Jones flagship store in Burke Street and Elizabeth Street in Sydney. The fact that they're selling their flagship stores doesn't really scream of confidence, does it? It does not scream of confidence. The drop in sales has also affected the Country Road Group, which is also owned by Bulworth Holding, after it closed all stores when social distancing took place. Now, did Country Road, did they have an online presence? Did they have an online presence? 
the Country Road Group saw a 50.4% drop in sales between March and April. But Woolworths Supermarket, sorry, but the Woolworths Supermarket saw a 17.4% rise in sales during the lockdown despite footfall being reduced. Demand has since moderated with shopping patterns reflecting reduced footfall but increased average basket size, the update said. Woolworths food business has been resilient throughout this period, supported by strong relationships with the supply chains. Now, are they talking about a different Woolworths, the Woolworths Shopping Centre, which isn't actually related at all to the South African one? It comes just days, or are they talking about the, the Woolworths food in the David Jones part of the business? So, it comes just days after the retail giant Target announced 167 of its stores would close in a massive restructure as Australian shops continue to struggle in the pandemic. The struggling Australian retailer will close 75 of its stores and convert 92 others into Kmarts, it announced on May 22nd. Following our financial review, the company revealed plans to drastically restructure as the brand suffered a $67 million sales slump. So guys, here we have it. A pretty drastic outcome for David Jones. A 35% drop in sales. We'll have to look. Let's see how news.com has reported on this. So David Jones to speed up store closures as retail sales drop. So it looks like they're not closing all 50 stores, although they haven't specifically said how many they're going to close, have they? Plans to restructure the David Jones network are set to accelerate with the pandemic crisis devastating sales at the already struggling retailer. In a pandemic and trading update from parent company Woolworths Holding, including David Jones and Country Road Group, seen by news.com.au, the company indicated store closures were likely. Although, although David Jones has continued to trade in its large format stores through the period, the impact of the pandemic has had a significant impact on foot traffic and store sales, the document states. Sales and concession sales for the first nine weeks of H2 were up 0.5% in local currency, but declined by 35.8% in the subsequent eight weeks to April. David Jones' online penetration continues to grow strongly, with sales in H2 to date having doubled versus that of the prior comparable period. The easing of restrictions in Australia has also commenced, and we are seeing a positive uplift in footfall and compensatory encouraging sales performance across the DJ network. Discussions with Australasian landlords are underway in relation to an accelerated restructure of the David Jones network of store locations and a reduction in in floor space it reveals final settlement settlement is expected before the end of july and the sales price achieved is in line with expectations oh this is the the shop that they're selling so in a statement provided to news.com whl group ceo roy bagatani said the pandemic had sparked unprecedented challenges for the industry this recent update reflects the tough and unprecedented trading conditions that have dramatically impacted performance across the retail sector globally he said Throughout this period, our group has taken proactive and immediate action to ensure the safety of our customers and employees while optimizing trade across all our businesses. Notwithstanding the significant challenges we currently face as a business, we are well placed to respond rapidly and effectively to challenging customer dynamics and capture the market opportunities that arise. So here we're having two takes on the closures and the changes that are happening here. David Jones, another huge retailer in Australia that's succumbing to the pandemic, pretty much crash in retail spending. But this is just a continuation of the retail issues that we were talking about since the beginning of the year. Are we going to see a similar thing in property, guys? Is this just another demonstration, an example of how this pandemic is simply the pin that popped the bubble? We'll have to see, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and you'd like to support us, there are a few ways you can. You can join the channel on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us via our affiliate links at Amazon or eBay or Independent Reserve and KuCoin. You can buy our merch from Heiser Says. You can use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint, or you can also support us via PayPal. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.